Mitsubishi Pajero second generation. Mitsubishi redesigned the Pajeros for a second generation, which debuted in January 1991, although exports did not commence until later in the year. Just about everything was now new and further enhanced. A new larger body was available in four different versions. Metal top, canvas top, convertible, short wheelbase, semi-high roof wagon, and high roof wagon, long wheelbase. The short wheelbase models were stretched by 70 mm and the long wheelbase models by 30 mm. The available engines included a 3.0 liter 12 valve SOHC V6 with ECI multi-electronic fuel injection and a 2.5 liter turbocharged diesel engine with an intercooler. The 4D 5060 used a top mounted intercooler with an innovative method to provide airflow. Using two hidden scoops at the top of the grill, these guided air through two ducts in the bonnet that merged into one above the intercooler. This unique design provided several benefits. Firstly, by keeping the intercooler top mounted, the piping was kept short, resulting in less boost lag. The top mounted position also allowed for greater durability since it wasn't prone to damage from rocks and sticks when off-road, as front mounted intercoolers were. Additionally, having a solid bonnet with no traditional intercooler scoop reduced drag and further enhanced durability in dense jungle by preventing branches from trees that brushed across the bonnet from damaging the intercooler fins. While enhancing durability, this method of airflow is less efficient than a standard top mounted scoop as the air that flowed through these channels was warmed by rising engine heat, reducing the amount of heat the passive airflow could draw from the intercooler's air charge. This design was replaced by a standard top mounted intercooler scoop in later 4M40 models. The second generation also saw the introduction of super select 4 wheel drive known as active track 4 wheel drive in some markets. Multi-mode ABS and electronic shock absorbers which were first on Japanese four-wheel drive vehicles. SS4 was groundbreaking in the sense that it combined the advantage of part-time and full-time four-wheel drives with four available options, 2H high-range rear-wheel drive, 4H high-range full-time four-wheel drive, 4H LC high-range four-wheel drive with locked center differential and 4LLC low-range four-wheel drive with locked central differential. Another advantage of this second generation system is that it gave the driver the ability to switch between two-wheel drive and full-time four-wheel drive at speeds up to 80 km per hour. Whereas the first generation Pajero, which used a traditional four-wheel drive system, had to be stationary to switch from rear-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, but not from four-wheel drive back to rear-wheel drive. In addition to the SS4, a pneumatic locking differential was included as a factory option. The transfer case is required to be in 4HLC or 4LLC to engage the rear locking differential. Multi-mode ABS, on the other hand, was equally innovative. This meant ABS would be fully functional in all the modes. Of SS4 as braking with a lock central differential requires completely different braking parameters. Additionally, vehicles were fitted with load proportioning valves which used spring loaded levers on the differential that compressed when payload was increased, subsequently automatically providing more braking force when the vehicle was heavily laden. The new electronic shock absorber was also factory option with three settings S for soft, M for medium, and H for hard. This allowed the driver to change ride quality and handling depending on road conditions via a switch on center console. Depending on the market, some Pajeros came equipped with an optional winter package that included dual batteries, heated front seats, heated door mirrors, and a rear cabin heater. JDM versions of the Pajero came fitted with chrome front and rear bumpers, while export models typically featured powder-coated blue-gray bumpers with embedded brake and indicator lights on the rear. In July 1993, Two new power plants were introduced, a 3.5 liter 24 valve DOHC with ECI multi and a 2.8 liter turbocharged diesel with an intercooler. A new larger transmission and transfer case 
was also part of the upgrade. In 1996, the 3.0 liter V6 engine was revised staying SOHC but changing to 24 valves. At the same time, the ignition system was upgraded from the old distributor system to solid state coil packs. Power increased to 177 horsepower. The 2.4 liter engine was introduced as a smaller power plant available only in the short wheelbase version with revised minor interior and exterior. The Pajero Evolution was introduced in October 1997, which was developed in specifically to meet homologan requirements of the Paris Decker Rally T2 class with a minimum volume of production vehicles to be produced on which the rally car would be based on. The Pajero Evolution was designed from the ground up as a dedicated rally vehicle. It came standard with a 3.5 liter 24 valve DOHC V6 with Mitsubishi innovative valve timing and electronic lift control MIVEC. A new dual plenum variable intake helped increase power and a new long travel independent rear suspension made the ride even smoother. The fully independent suspension design set the upper pinnings for what would be implemented in the third generation Pajero. In 1998, vehicle destined for general export and the Gulf Corporation Council countries received a facelift. Wider fenders, new headlights, grills, bumper, fog lights and side steps were all parts of the redesign. The wide fenders are often called blister flare fenders. Driver and front passenger SRS airbags were made standard on models equipped with the 3.5 liter DOHC V6 engine, while still remaining option on GLS models with the 3.0 liter SOHC V6, 1080 of these units were also assembled in Iran by Bahman Khordo Group before being taken off production. An upgraded interior wood trim was made available on 3.0 GLS and 3.5 liter models. A leather wrap or leather and wood trim steering wheel was also made available alongside an upgraded suspension and steering system. The 3.0 liter 12 valve SOHC engine was now available with a 24 valve configuration. Models without wide fenders remained as basic models GLX, available with a 2.4 liter 16 valve DOHC engine producing 147 horsepower. The 3.0 liter 12 valve engine was optional on these GLX models and remained the base engine on the GLS. The second generation was introduced on 22nd January 1991 and manufactured until 1999. It retained the two body styles but design was rounder and more city friendly than the previous bulky model. The 3 2.0 liter V6 petrol engine was retained, now available with a 24 valve head capable of 182 horsepower. While the 2.5 liter turbocharged diesel's power was slightly increased to 98 horsepower. In 1993, the Pajero was slightly restyled and larger engines were introduced. A 3.5 liter V6 with 205 horsepower and a 2.8 liter SOHC turbo diesel rated at 123 horsepower. These versions introduced Mitsubishi's Super Select 4 wheel drive system known as Active Track in the United States with an electronic transfer shift that could split power between both axles without the need to stop the car. It worked at speeds up to 100 km per hour. The first generation Pajero was also marketed as the Hyundai Galloper in Korea, Europe and GCC countries, while the second generation was in production elsewhere. This model of Pajero remained in production in India till 2012 as the Pajero SFX. The latest generation is sold as the Montero. It is also produced in Colombia from complete knockdown parts till 2012 with a 2.4 liter 16 valve SOHC or 3.0 liter 12 valve V6. Both engines are available as a three door hardtop the 5-door wagon only with the 3.0 liter V6. In the Philippines, MMPC introduced it in the 1995 as the Pajero Fieldmaster. There were two engines available, the 2.5 liter 4D 56TD inline 4 engine or the bigger 2.8 liter 4M 40 diesel engine, both paired to a standard 5-speed manual or Mitsubishi 5-speed automatic transmission with part-time or full-time 4-wheel drive system. A 4x2 variant was also available. It featured keyless entry, leather upholstery rear air vents, central locking, roof rails, 2 din 6 CD audio changer among other features. By 1999, Mitsubishi axed the 4x4 variant of the Pajero. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for further notifications.